Hey, how's it going? It's Mr. Farrell here with a quick physics tutorial on velocity. We're going to solve a word problem using the velocity equation in the form of V equals delta X over delta T, displacement over time. As we solve this problem, we're going to use our ICE method, identify, categorize, equate, and evaluate to solve this problem. So let's go ahead and get started. So the problem reads, Austin travels 30 meters south it takes him 40 seconds to reach his destination. What is Austin's velocity? All right, so in order to solve this problem, we're gonna start with our identify step. So when we do the identify step, we're gonna identify any measurements and the question that the problem is, is asking us. So let's go ahead and use our blue marker to, to identify those things. So we have 30 meters south, Okay, notice that I did underline south. The direction is also important when we are identifying the measurement. Uh, it takes him 40 seconds. Okay, that is another measurement we want to identify. And what is Austin's velocity? That's our question. Awesome. So we've completed our identify step. Nice to identify all of the measurements and the question in the problem. Okay, so next we're going to do our categorize step. This is where we put all of our measurements and our question on the board and we figure out what uh, variable would categorize that measurement. So let's go ahead and do that. We have 30 meters south. All right, let me write that a little lower. Okay, we have 40 seconds, and we have our question, okay? So we do have 30 meters south, we wrote that down, 40 seconds, and then we have our question, so we wanna make sure to write that down as well. Now, we have to go ahead and categorize these using a variable. So for starters, let's just go in order. So I see 30 meters south, okay? Now, when I see south, I know I need to come up with a convention. Is south gonna be my positive direction or my negative direction? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and write north and south up here. And I need to set a convention. So my convention is gonna be that north is the positive direction and south is the negative. What this enables us to do is we don't have to continue to write south in our equation when we're trying to solve this problem. We can represent it instead with a negative sign. Okay, excellent. So now I see negative 30 meters or 30 meters south is, the, is uh, how much Austin traveled, how far Austin traveled. And we're gonna categorize that. So this meters tells me that this is going to be position or displacement. And because this is a, uh, a, a distance that Austin traveled, um, we're gonna go ahead and mark this as displacement, right? Because we have the direction and we have the distance traveled, the direction being represented by the negative sign, which means south. Next, we go to 40 seconds, okay? 40 seconds, I'm looking at the unit to categorize this measurement. Seconds is a unit of time. And this is a duration of time, how long it took Austin. And so I'm going to mark this as delta T. Great. Now we're going to look at our question. In order to figure out what category this falls into, we just read the word problem. So the word problem asks us, what is Austin's velocity? So velocity is represented by the variable V. And now we have categorized all of our measurements. Okay, so let's go ahead and cross that off the list. Next, we have to equate. Now, when we equate, we are choosing an equation that's going to help us find our missing uh, variable. All right. So when we choose an equation, we want to choose one that has all of these variables in it. Right. Everything we know and what we do not know. So we're looking for an equation with delta X, delta T and V. Now, because this is a tutorial on this velocity equation, we know we're using that velocity equation, so we'll go ahead and write it. So we have V 
delta x and delta t all present in this equation, so we know we can go ahead and use it. Now, we are done with our equate step and we can move on to evaluate. Now, when we evaluate, we're simply plugging in our numbers in order to solve the problem. So we're plugging in those measurements, all right? So we're gonna equate or evaluate this. So delta x, we say it was equal to negative 30 meters, okay? And delta t is equal to 40 seconds. Now notice I put parentheses around my measurements when I plug them in. I think it's just a good habit to practice so that you don't lose track of which measurement you're working with. All right, so negative 30 divided by 40, if I plug that into my calculate, calculator, I actually get negative 0 0.75, all right? And now I need to deal with my units. I have meters divided by seconds, so I'm gonna go ahead and write meters divided by seconds. Excellent. So this is my final answer. Austin is moving at negatives 0 0.75 meters per second. Now, notice this negative sign, right? If we look at our convention, we know that negative simply means south. So Austin is moving at a velocity of 0 0.75 meters per second south.